Hello and welcome to the seventh lesson of this Excel course. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn about autofill, custom lists and flash fill. These are tools that can make you super efficient when you are entering data in Excel. Let's get started by learning about autofill. We introduced autofill in one of the previous videos and this lesson would be a detailed view of what all you can do using autofill. It is a really powerful technique if you are entering data in Excel, if you have huge data sets and you have to enter columns or rows full of data. So for example, let me type one here and say I have to drag this down and fill all these numbers. Maybe say these are serial numbers. So I want to drag this down up to the cell, cell number 20 and I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 20 here. You see there is a square green uh, you see there is a square green shape here at the bottom right of this cell and if I hover my mouse over it I get a plus icon. If I drag this down while I click on the left mouse key and if I drag this down you can see that Excel is filling something. You can see there is one written at the bottom right and now when I leave this it fills one in all these cells. You would also have this icon, this autofill options icon as soon as you are done entering this data and now if you click on it you see these options. The first option is copy cells. Now since I've on, I have only entered one here in one of the cells, Excel could not identify whether I want to increment it by one or what do I want to do with this data. So it copied all these cells with the same value which is one. But it also has the option to fill series and if I click on this you can see Excel fills all these series with 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 20. This is what exactly I wanted. It also has other options which is fill formatting only. Had there been any formatting here, Excel would have filled it, filled the formatting only and not these values. It can fill without formatting. So for example, if there are any color in this cell or if there is a border, Excel would fill this content but would not copy the formatting. And the last option is flash fill, which I would discuss uh, later in this video, but this option is not applicable for this data. If I even click on it, Excel would not be able to do anything with it. So now let me showcase other options. I would type one here and I would type two here. And in this case, let me also give this some formatting. I would use this yellow color with uh, some border. Now when I click and when I drag this down, you can see something is happening. Excel is filling this value and you can see the value right there in small white box. As soon as I leave it, you can see Excel has filled everything. So it has filled the series and it has copied it with the formatting. Again, if I go here and I choose these options, if I go to copy cells, it would fill one, two, and then again, one, two, and then again, one, two. So it would copy this content over and over again. If I choose fill formatting only, then see what happens. It does not repeat the content or it does not fill the content. It only copies the formatting here. If I choose fill without formatting, the formatting is not copied. And again, as I said, flash fill is not applicable. Now this is for numbers and this is a very simple example, but Excel, let me clear the formatting, but Excel is smart enough to identify even a difficult uh, set of patterns. So for example, here I type one and then I type nine. Now, if I only give you these two numbers, the pattern you would say is the difference is eight. So now if I drag this down, you can see Excel has actually identified this pattern and actual Excel is actually filling these cells. So now I have one plus eight, nine, one plus eight, 17, 17, uh, nine plus eight, 17, 17 plus eight, 25. So Excel has filled it for me. It may happen that you are not able to see this plus icon. If that is the case, go to file tab, Within this go to options and in options select the advanced option and here you would find this part enable fill handle and cell drag and drop. If this is not checked, check this option. If I uncheck this option and click OK, you can see that now I do not see that plus icon. So I'm not able to use this powerful feature which is, which is autofill. So I would go back again and activate it options advanced and here I would check this. So now I have autofill option available. There is one more way through which you can access autofill options. So for example, if I clear this and I type two here and I drag this down. Earlier I was using the left mouse key, but instead of left mouse key, if you use a right mouse key and you drag this down, oops. So if you use right mouse key and you drag this down, 
and you leave the right mouse key you would see that now there is another set of options here which is again similar to the excel options that you used to see when you had completed using the left mouse key it says copy cells fill series fill formatting and fill without formatting which is exactly the same there are also the options to fill days weekdays months and years these are not available because excel identifies that this is not date or this is not a time uh, fill this is numbers only you also have this option of linear trend growth trend flash fill or series now if you use linear trend it again fills exactly the same way let me show you how the other works so i would use the right mouse key bring it here and now if i click on growth trend you can see what it has done it has used a uh, geometric progression so here it doubled so it is doubling all these uh, numbers so this is how you can use growth trend let me show you what happens when you use again flash fill is not something that would work on this data but if you click on series this opens the series dialog box and here you can select that the series is in columns in this case it is uh, then you can choose whether you want a linear thing a growth date or autofill you can select if your data is date then you get uh, these options available but since ours is only a simple data set I'll not be using this uh, but you can uh, you feel free to go back and open your Excel sheet and try it with data and all the other kind of data sets and you can also tell it where, what is the step value so for example if uh, I say the step value should be 2 and the stop value should be 15 and I say OK you can see what has happened it is increasing these values by 2 and it stops when it reaches 15 so these are additional options that you get you that you get with series fill uh, but in most of the cases uh, the default options work just fine now let me show you a couple of examples for autofill here let me delete this data I have first written here now Excel autofill has a brain of its own and it's really smart if you drag this down you would see that it is filling all these cells with the data that is a logical extension to first which is second and third and fourth and fifth you can have these two but even having a single cell value would work the same way so I only had first here and it filled everything for me similarly if I go for Monday and if I drag this down Excel identifies that there are only seven days in a week so it would fill it till Sunday and then it would again start with Monday and then again go till Sunday similarly if I go to quarter and if I drag this down Excel would fill till quarter four only because it understands that there are only four quarters and then it repeats again but let me show you something earlier when we were filling the numbers we get we got certain kind of options here but you would see that the option increases in case I'm using days so for example I did not had fill days or fill weekdays in that case now if I select fill weekdays see what happens Saturdays or Sundays are not filled so this is where you can really use autofill options if you are working with the data set maybe uh, you are filling the timesheets and you are creating this list uh, then it will be really important so that Saturdays and Sundays are not filled and this is exactly what you can use similarly in case of quarters if you do this and if you click here you would see that now it does not give me any option of date or time because this does not have any date or time or day in it similarly if you drag this these are three letter alphabet codes for a month and if I drag it down Excel identifies that this is a three letter code so it replicates that for all the months again till December and then it repeats again if you click here you would get these options fill months which is very specific to this list similarly you have this longer version of the month and it does it again again with this option of fill months now what if I have here high and a logical extension of this would be high medium and low now I drag this down but Excel does not give me those options it does not give me medium or low so let me go a step further type medium here and now I expect low to come up and as soon as I drag this down nope again Excel is only copying high and medium the reason being that Excel in its memory does not have this pre saved it does not have high medium low as one of the list that can be autofilled so you can have thousands of such list of your own you can have high medium low you can have true false you can have yes no you can have maybe the names in an alphabetical order you can have a b c d e f g h so Excel does not have all this inbuilt in its memory but it does give you a way to do it by yourself so you can use this by using the custom lists option here I have some lists which I want to embed in, in Excel's memory so for example if I type high here I should get the options of medium and low which is not the case right now so to do that I would have to create custom lists if you want to create a custom list go to file tab click on it go to options 
within Excel Options dialog box, select Advanced. And in Advanced, scroll down and come to Edit Custom Lists option in general. And now when you click on it, you have the Custom Lists dialog box. You can see there are some lists that are already saved in Excel. You can import your list. So to do that, I would click here and I would select these three cells which have high, medium and low. And now I would say Import. As soon as I say import, this gets here and it is also saved as one of the custom lists. And I would click OK. OK. Now, when I go here and I type high and I drag this down, now I have high, medium, low as one of the options. Similarly, you can see if I type A here and B here and I drag this down, I do not get the option of A, B, C, D and so on. So to do that again, I would go to File, Options, here I would go to advanced scroll down click on edit custom list click on import select this range click on import and click OK OK now again ABCD is saved in Excel and now if I drag this down you can see that Excel is auto filling this series for me till Z and again if I drag this down it will start over with A so this is how you can create custom lists if you are say creating a survey where you need these kind of values it would be really helpful to create these custom lists here i have some data set of us presidents their name the recent one at the top and the number i have picked this list directly from wikipedia so in case there are any errors you know who to blame now I'll show you how Flash Fill works. Flash Fill is a feature that is introduced in Excel 2013 and I would say that this is still a feature in the making. It is evolving so uh, it's good to know how it works but you would be better off using other options and you would know why as I show you how it works. So here in this case let me type the name Barrick which is the first name of the president and now drag this down. So I would drag this down till the end it fills barrack all the way but now I click here and I would use flash fill and as soon as I click on flash fill you can see what it has does it would get the name the first name of all these names and put it here so in this case it is George it's Will, uh, William it's George Ronald James Gerard so all these names have been filled now this is a really good option it is uh, maybe an alternative to text to column functions in Excel but there are certain problems here so for example let me do one thing let me type Obama which is I want the third na third part of the name so it's Barack Hussein Obama and I want the third part here and as soon as I click enter you can see it has filled the list for me so either you can type it and drag it down or you can just click enter and it will do it for you the problem here is that the third name here is Obama but the third name here is Bush but it is giving me Walker. The reason being that Flash Fill needs to identify a pattern. If it cannot identify a pattern, this would not work. And the pattern it has identified here is that this is the second last word. And in this case, the second last word was Obama. So it is picking the second last word in each case. So this is minor thing that can go wrong with Flash Fill. You would, I would again suggest you are better off not using Flash Fill. Uh, use other options such as text to column until unless you are using really basic things or your data is very consistent. So for example, here if I had the names which all have only three parts to it, then Flash Fill would work as a charm. But in data set such as this, it may not be the right thing to use. So use it with a pinch of salt but uh, it's again a good feature to know that's it in this video i hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day